Hey guys, I'm LB, and let's check out Speed Flings by R3 Dash. Welcome to the new R3 Dash Laboratory's advanced test chamber. It involves speed gel, fizzlers, again, I like them, funnels, and triggers. Yes, triggers. The door activated with a button is to pass the fizzler and go back at the beginning. Have fun soaring through the air without a care in the world. Alright, let's check it out. So I'm guessing R3 Dash is called B Mod in that case, right? Because, uh, otherwise, I don't see how you would do triggers without B-Mod. Alright, so we can always get back up here. Lots of portal surfaces outside, and not very many inside. <laughs> what is that? Square, which does... I'm assuming that's a flip panel. And then this is... Right, let's see what this is all about. Yes, it's definitely B-Mod, because those doors are not in vanilla Puzzle Maker. So why would you need that, though? Like... Oh, there's no Fizzlers in there. Alright. So that's how you get around... But it's one way. Okay. It's one way, no Fizzlers. I understand. Why, hello there. Alright. Let's see, I'm assuming we want to go up there, right? Whee! And what does this go to? Excuse me? Uh, hello? R3 Dash? Uh, I think you have an issue with your ant lines here. <laughs> they just stop dead on the lights. I must have done that, apparently. Alright. Also, what is that about? That's a- that's an angled panel, if I've ever seen one. What is that for? Let's head all the way back through here. Alright, so. I still have not used the funnel yet. I'm guessing we can now, right? Okay, what does this laser need to point at, actually? Something, something... over here, I'm guessing? What? Where does this laser need to go? Ah, I see you've wisened up! Clever. Oh, I didn't even see that there. How are you... How does one get there, though? And where- Oh, I didn't even- Did not even see that! <laughs> wow, my blind is a bad or what? There we go. Oh, whoops. <laughs> it's still in there. Forgot about that. Alright, so... Actually... I wanna do something more... Uh... Excuse me! This cube's also got a song in its head! Dude! What is wrong with my game? Why do cubes have songs in their heads all of a sudden? Oh, I messed that up. There we go. Okay, so what's in here? Okay, well I can... I can safely do that. Looks like you just want to put the cube there, right? Disables the fizzler. That gets me another cube. Eh. 
and I just leave this one here. Alright. Because that's a requirement for the exit. Yeah, okay. Oh, okay, I see. And then this just goes back over here. Did it. Alright, so. Let's see here. Hey, look at that! <laughs> Did not even know this would be here. But that's... that's what the angle panel was. I didn't remember that, I was just gonna look around and think about, uh... Criticisms, basically, so. This little... this area here... It's, it's okay. I think it's okay. But you definitely need to fix the ant lines there. And... let's see, what else? This, uh, this return path here... What you could do instead... Is just use... Height, basically. Like, if you get rid of all the portal surfaces near... That area there, you can just have it so that... You go upstairs and you have to drop down and you won't be able to get back in. That would also work, and that way you don't have to do it like this. And then you could also, like, do some other redesigns and stuff. This area... I'm not sure what you had in mind with, uh, with this here. Like, let's actually- let's actually go over there real quick. Come on, drop the companion cube. Let's get in there. And let's go ahead and put this companion cube right where it belongs. There we go. So yeah, this over here... I'm pretty sure I did that the wrong way, but I don't really see another way to do that, because you've got all these non-portalable. And I don't really see how else we were supposed to get into the funnel, other than the way I did it. It's kind of an odd design. It, it feels kind of strange to me, like, why would you design it that way? That's mostly... Like, if that was the intended way, then that's- that's execution-based, and you should try to avoid designing puzzles that are based on execution. Instead, you should just make it based on logic, so... Yeah, if that was the intended way, that's not a good way to do it. And then this over here was kind of... Strange to me. Eh, it's fine. I don't know, people in the comments will give you better suggestions than me, because I don't really know what else to say. I'm, I'm still kind of bad at criticizing puzzles, really. I'm not very good at designing them myself, to be honest. Anyway, as always, thank you for watching, I really appreciate it, and I will see you all in the next episode. You can show your appreciation with the two buttons below the video that look like these right here, and I will see you all in the next episode. Goodbye.